Hey everybody, welcome to MT Guitar. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're doing My Sweet Lord by George Harrison. Uh, just one of his classic hits from the memorable and historic album All Things Must Pass, which really was uh, a game changer for George Harrison, who had just, you know, split from the Beatles. Everybody uh, in the Beatles had split around 1969, 1970 officially in 1970, but they began to split kind of around the time of uh, Let It Be. And Abbey Road was their last hurrah. Anyway, George really shocked the world in a, in a good way with All Things Must Pass. It was a double album. And uh, this was one of the big hits. If you're looking to really beef up your acoustic guitar chops, you want to get better at playing chord progressions and strumming patterns. And um, songs like these with a really predictable strumming pattern and a nice chord progression, you kind of can't go wrong. So I really recommend adding it to your repertoire. And you can follow along with this lesson by downloading the tab on the Patreon. Check that out in the description below. There's a link for it. And I wanted to remind you all to enter into the guitar lesson giveaway I launched last lesson. Offer ends February 1st. All you have to do to enter to be eligible to win is to follow me on Instagram at mtguitarlessons and then uh, tag me in a video where you're practicing or performing any lesson that I've taught. So any song I've taught um, doesn't have to be the whole thing, of course, just a section or two would be great. Any level is welcome. I'll select three winners. Um, so check that out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to watch the video where I go into more detail. Other than that, uh, subscribe to MT Guitar and uh, hit the notification bell. Really appreciate your support. And uh, with that, let's get started on this lesson and zoom in. All right, so um, a lot of the lessons, or most of them, have a capo on the second fret, and that's because George Harrison played this live with a capo. Um, however, I prefer it without a capo, and the main reason is that I really want that low E chord. Um, and with a capo, it turns out to be a D chord, and that's great, and it still sounds good, but I prefer this, this low E. And the other thing I like is this open C sharp minor chord, which is the second chord of the verse. And it's actually easier than a B minor bar chord because we're not barring the, uh, the first string there. So that's why I chose to not use a capo. Uh, it's in the same key. You can still play along with the, with the original recording. So uh, we're going to go through this strumming pattern nice and slow uh, just so you can get the idea. And then we'll obviously go through all the chords in the sections. Once you get the strumming pattern of the first couple lines down, you're going to notice that everything is going to speed up in terms of your progress through this song because the strumming pattern essentially repeats. Um, so get our F sharp minor here ready, F sharp minor bar chord. And we're going to go down, 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 up, mute. Muting a bar chord is just really about slightly lifting the left hand so that you get a, a nice mute there. So, down, 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 up, mute. And then we anticipate the B chord. And that's going to be an upstroke. So this is a B bar chord here, okay? So let's take this first bar here, nice and slow. Down, 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 up, mute, up. And before we move on, what you want to do with strumming patterns is at least be aware not only of where the downs and ups lie, but also uh, where the subdivisions lie. So, for instance, one, two, three, and four, and. Okay, so that those first two beats are quarter notes. One, two. Now we have three. Uh, sorry, four eighth notes in a row. Three and four and. You'll notice that every time I say a number, I'm strumming down. Every time I say an and, I'm strumming up. I recently did a live stream where I talked about this about strumming. So, uh, one more time well, with me counting here. One, two, three, and four, and. Okay, now for the B, we go up, down, down, up, down. Anticipate the F sharp minor on an up. Okay, so the first two bars, nice and slow. Then that repeats, except uh, you'll notice that the, the B chord has a downbeat on the first beat of the last bar of this line. So that's the only difference. So let's do the last two bars here, starting on the down of uh, F sharp minor. Three, 
four. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, so the whole first line, nice and slow, three, four. Good. The second line is exactly the same, except the only difference is we anticipate an E chord. Let's play the second line here. Same exact thing, except we'll play an E chord at the very end. Ready? Three, four. There's that up on that E, e chord. Anticipated. So a lot of times when you have a chord that lands on the and of four. It's called an anticipation. All right, good. Um, that's already a lot of the lesson right there because that's essentially the, uh, you know, the chorus. Uh, even though we're doing the intro right now, that, that is the same part as the chorus. So now we're going to do um, what will be the verse, although it's still in the intro. So we're going to do E chord. You'll see that the string pattern is basically the same as the, uh, you know, as the chorus. So let's, let's try this here on an E chord. Down, 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 up, down. No mute this time on the fourth downbeat. So one, two, three, and four. And then you anticipate a C sharp minor. Okay. One, two, three, and four. And, okay. And then up, down, down, up, down, up on the E chord. Let's do those two bars together. Here we go. Three, four. Okay, now the next two bars, down, 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 up, down, up, and then you just continue with the down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, and then up on the E. So let's do that whole line in tempo, three, four. Now we do our transition, which is basically taking us from the, you know, the verse section to the chorus, or in this case, the intro to the chorus. And it's the, one of the harder parts of the song for a beginner because we have a diminished chord, which is not the most common thing. All right, so we're going to go E chord, down, 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 up, down, and then an F diminished, actually an F diminished 7. So that's going to be 3, 4, 3, 4, starting from the fourth string, 3, Four, first and third fingers, second finger, third fret, second string, pinky, uh, fourth fret, first string. So right there, right there, right there, right there. Okay, and that's an F diminished here, and we go anticipation, up, up, mute. So that's from E, down, 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 up, down, up, up, mute. Now a C sharp seven. Another a uh, uh, couple ups here. Up, up, down. C sharp seven is like four, three, four, two. Fifth string, fourth. You know, down from there. And we're gonna go up, up, down, and then an up stroke on the F sharp minor, which leads us to the chorus. Okay, so let's do that whole line, nice and slow. tricky. A little faster. Three, four. All right. So now we're at the chorus, which is basically the same as the intro, except George is singing. So for practice sake, we've already, we've already covered it, but let's just play it uh, basically just to practice it here. And I'll sing the melody so you can hear the song. Ready? Right on the chorus. Three, four. Now the verse, again, the same as the intro, but let's play it for practice sake. Uh, right on the E chord here, really want to know. Alright, the 
song repeats uh, after we have that um, that verse there, E, F diminished, C sharp 7. And when we get to the second time, instead of going to the verse after the chorus, we have this modulation, which I am calling a bridge. However, it's, it's not really a bridge. It's more of just a modulation. Uh, but because it lasts for a few bars, we'll call it a bridge. So um, let's, let's cover this bridge here after you do the chorus. So what's happening is we have two bars of E, two bars of E7, and two bars of C-sharp 7. And what that's doing is it's loosening our grip a little bit on the, the key being E major. What a C-sharp 7 will do is, is it will lead us like a dominant chord to F-sharp because C-sharp 7 is the 5 of F-sharp. So throwing a little theory in here um, just so that you can be aware of these things when you're playing them. Um, so let's, let's go through this bridge modulation. Two bars of E. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Slightly different strumming pattern, and that's that's just to give it a little more energy here. One more time. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, down. Now E7, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. All right, E7, just lift that third finger for that E7. Now a C sharp 7, we've already played this chord, but we're going to do... Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And the reason we're strumming every subdivision is because of the energy of the modulation. We need all that uh, energy and all this momentum there. So, and we land on F sharp. All right, so F sharp, now we're in F sharp. Uh, we've modulated up a whole step, so let's go over uh, everything in F sharp. It's going to be very similar, but we'll just do it anyway. Um, down, down, up, up, down, and then G diminished. So just like F diminished, up two frets. Everything's basically up two frets now. Five, six, five, six. So up, down, up, down, and then D sharp seven. Okay, so that's like C sharp seven, but two frets up. G sharp minor. See how everything's just up two frets. All right, good. So let's do that whole uh, line there, uh, right here from C sharp seven. All right, a little tricky there. So run that nice and slow until you got it. Now the chorus uh, is going to be the same thing except two frets up. So let's run that. Really? Back to the verse. Now instead of E, C sharp minor will be two frets up, so it'll be F sharp, D sharp minor. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, and then the very last part is the part where we go from the verse to the chorus. Just like in the uh, key of E, we'll just do it in the key of F sharp, so it'll be down, down, up, up, down, and then G diminished, up, up, no, sorry, up, down, up, down, and then D sharp, up, down, up, down, and then we anticipate the G, the, uh, G sharp minor, and that repeats back to the chorus, my sweet low. Okay, let's move on to the lead riffs. Uh, now, these are done on a slide. And you know, um, this beyond the scope of this lesson, I'm not going to do a slide guitar lesson on this one. Um, although I love slide, and and it deserves, uh, uh, you know, a good lesson that would be just by itself. But let me just cover the, the the notes just so you can play it on a regular guitar if you'd like to. Let's start with the lead riff in E. Okay, so that's four two zero oh, on the first string. Two o two o two o two o. All right, first two strings there. One more time. Good. Repeat. Four two o two o two o two o two. Last time. Four two o. And then you do this diminished riff here. One first fret here. Third fret. Open. 
first fret, third string, open third, and then two, 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 oh, one, four. So let's do that whole line. One. That repeats twice. One. And last time. All right. Now when it modulates, just everything is the same except it's up two, two frets or a whole step. So let's just run that for practice here. One. One. Last time. It's just up a whole step for one. Slightly different strings there because it's easier this way. Okay, and that's the end. All right, so there you go, my sweet lord. What a classic! What a beautiful song. Um, really good to get your strumming patterns up. When you get this up to speed, go ahead and play along with my demo or with George's recording, and just try to feel that groove and. Um, Hopefully you get to the point where you don't need to think about down, down, up anymore. And it just sort of, you can hear it and feel it. All right. So there you go. Enjoy and let me know if there's any questions. All right. Good job, everybody. Uh, nice song to add to your repertoire and definitely a good strumming workout. So go ahead and subscribe to MT Guitar and um, hit the thumbs up and the notification bell. And uh, have a wonderful day. Remember to have fun playing guitar and um, enjoy yourself. That's the goal. So we'll see you next time and uh, take care. Bye.